Swingin' Pirates, I hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July weekend and this past weekend as well. And yeah, we did something pretty cool over that 4th of July holiday weekend and it actually wasn't metal detecting. Now, sidebar, that's actually a great weekend to go metal detecting because people are out at the parks having picnics, barbecues, um, all sorts of stuff. If you're a beach hunter and you are anywhere where the heat was on, yeah, people are at the beach, they are in the water, they're swimming, so I like to go out usually right there in the evenings or very early in the morning and you can really clean up. And it's not just finding coins and trinkets or rings or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, you can find beach umbrellas, sand toys, footballs, soccer balls, uh, some of those nice pop-up chairs. And let's face it, that stuff adds up. And now you can go enjoy a nice day out at the beach yourself. But we did something pretty fun, like I said, over that 4th of July holiday. And really what that was is we did a fun little contest. Now the contest, I didn't announce it on social media. It wasn't anywhere in the Instagrams, the Twitters, even here on YouTube. So. If you follow me there, you didn't hear anything about that. Where do you actually have to go to see that? Well, you have to go to my website and it's a blog. I talk about metal detecting, some treasure hunting, some other fun things in there that kind of revolve around that whole hobby of collecting or looking for things. So down below in the description, you guys are going to see metaldetectinglife.com. If you haven't been there, check it out. It's a fun blog. I post a lot of interesting things in there and, and that's where we did the fun giveaway. If you go and subscribe to the newsletter, that is where I announced this fun treasure box giveaway. And exactly what that was, well, you had to find something. And what that something was, was actually the fireworks that I've got posted right above there. I hid those fireworks somewhere in the website, but I only did it for 48 hours, pretty much for that 4th of July weekend. And if you found that image and you clicked on it, it would have taken you to a secret sign-up page where you could have actually been entered to win some silver that I was giving away. And what that you know page basically was, was, hey, yeah, I found your secret image. I'm a pro online treasure detector. So did you find it? Actually, you probably didn't. There was actually one person that found it and that was it. So I'm surprised. But what they could have won was any of these coins down here below. I was giving away some really nice silver half dollars. And I was hoping, I was hoping like a dozen people would have been in it so we could have done a fun giveaway for that. Now, I still have all four of them and I am going to give one of those away to the winner. But if you're here on the stream, go ahead, put your name in the chat so I know that you're here because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away the other three here on the stream since you guys are showing up at least to you know the live so if you're here in the chat put your name in there real quick doesn't have to be your real name just let me see what your screen name is and that will really help determine whether or not you might win these because if i get quite a few people popping in here i don't mean like i said i've only got three more to give away so without any further ado uh, i want to let you guys know who that one individual, that one lucky pirate that found those hidden fireworks, those things right there on the website, again, in the description, metaldetectinglife.com, check it out. But it was Mr. Patrick R. Now, Patrick has been a longtime subscriber to the YouTube channel. He's followed me almost from day one when I started the blog, and he's actually a huge supporter of the channel. So. We're not just going to go ahead and give him his pick of the litter down here uh, for any of the coins, but what we're actually going to do is go ahead and I mean, give him, uh, <laughs> you know, something really sweet to go along with that silver half dollar that he wants. Boom. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give him, uh, there it is, there it is, a nice piece dollar, silver piece dollar, 1922. That's going in his pocket as well. So Mr. Patrick R, thanks for being an online treasure hunter and subscribing to the treasure box in the newsletter at metaldetectinglife.com. 
I really appreciate it, man. Thank you for being a super fan. That is awesome. All right, we've got a couple of pirates here in the chat. Ski Searcher, I see you. Mr. Scotty Nichols is here. Right there, we've got two more of these silver half dollars probably going away. I'm not doing this stream long. I've got things to do, treasure to find. Actually, I just gotta take the dogs and the, the family on a walk here, so <laughs> awesome, awesome. We're gonna get going here, and I had this fun little wheel here. Don't know if, uh, if that's popping up, but they're right there. Hopefully that's popping up, and you guys can see what the form looked like if you found the fireworks. All you had to do was fill that out, and you would have been entered in to win it. But now you guys don't have to find that because it is gone. So we have Scotty and Ski Searcher in here. I'm going to give this only about another minute and a half. And if I don't have anybody else pop in, those are going to be the winners of these silver half dollars. Once again, guys, I was giving away these silver half dollars to my exclusive newsletter subscribers on MetalDetectingLife.com. Hopefully... You guys are getting those emails and getting these alerts because, again, some of these fun contests that I'm doing, I'm not going to put up all over social media. They're exclusive to those newsletter subscribers. David, Kelly, how is it going? Hopefully you have been finding some treasure recently and you guys have had a fantastic weekend. The heat has gone away a little bit, starting to pick back up as far as the humidity here in Michigan. Not sure where you guys are all hailing from, but welcome, welcome to the stream. And again, I mean, I've got three people right now. We're giving away those coins. That's right, right here, down below. If you guys can see those, let me know. I've got two walking half dollars and two barber halves. Now we're gonna give Mr. Patrick R his pick of the litter, and then we're gonna go ahead and ship the rest of these ones out for anyone that gets entered in this little minute to win it contest. I'm going to put your name in this random wheel and yeah if you guys uh, are in here put your comment in the comment section because that's how I know you're here. That's how I can put you guys into this random wheel generator and let you know if you won okay. So we are going to get that going here. Looking for rings in the Lake of the Pines. All right, Mine Lab Excalibur. Lake of the Pines. Sounds like a pleasant place to spend a weekend if you're out camping or just relaxing. All right. Uh, if you guys are in the chat, let me know. Can you see that wheel spinning right now? Or is my uh, OBS stream software just not working for you guys. Ron Powers, we've got you. David Kelly says, no, we cannot see that right now. All right, we're not sure quite why that is not live. It's live on my screen, but uh, apparently it's not going over into the source. So that probably means you haven't seen the fireworks I put up and you guys haven't seen what the coins actually look like, but I promise they are nice. Scotty doesn't see it. Scotty doesn't know. Uh, that joke is probably old for you, Scotty. I apologize. Slap on the wrist for making it. Working on my dad jokes. I'm a new dad. I gotta get better at those, for sure. <laughs> All right, Scotty Nichols. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I am typing you into this random wheel picker and we're gonna spin it and see which one of you guys in the stream is gonna win the other three silver half dollars. Now again, I had them ready to go for any of those people that found the firework image on the website, but we only had one. So, all right, David Kelly, you are in. And Ron Powers, we gotta get you in. I've got you. Anyone else, if you just joined the stream, I am giving away three silver half dollars right now as we speak. One minute to go. We're going to end it and we're going to give these guys away. And I'm going to give you pretty much your picks uh, after Mr. Patrick R. selects the one he wants. So I will reach out to you guys as we go here. But here we go. All right, let's just make sure I got Ski Searcher, Scotty Nichols, David Kelly, and Ron Powers 
here in the stream. We've got about 30 seconds and we're gonna go ahead and spin this wheel, see who wins. <clears throat> but while we wait for the last few seconds on this countdown, what was the last thing you guys found metal detecting? I don't care if it was a pull tab, a zinc penny, what did you end your last hunt on? Mine, I think, was a Corona beer bottle cap. I went to the beach yesterday for about an hour. <laughs> Wasn't a lot out there. David Kelly, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I do have a new article coming out very soon on MetalDetectingLife.com. Sidebar has nothing to do with metal detecting. Spoiler alert for you on the stream. Magnet fishing, anybody? Yeah, we're talking about magnet fishing. Something new. Not new in the world, but new to me. I just recently got a magnet, and it's been pretty fun out there, so never know what you're going to find. But we talk about some of the things you can find in this article, so stay tuned for that. Should have it up on the website in a couple days. All right, a penny in the lake. Find a penny, pick it up. All day you can go get ice cream if you find about 300 more. <laughs> Bronze or lock. 1934. Ooh, that is an old dog license, Ron. I would love to see a picture of that. That sounds amazing. All right, here we go. We are giving away the remaining three silver half dollars. And I have Ski Searcher, Scotty Nichols, David Kelly, Ron Powers, Last call, if anyone is currently in the chat, put your name in there for a chance to win. Because in 10 seconds, we're done. We're done, we're canceling any more entries. These are the four that have got a chance to win. And don't worry, I've, I've, I've got a good feeling about this coming up here, so. Now I know you can't see this magical wheel that was supposed to be shared on the screen, but it looks like I need to take a little class in OBS to make sure that I'm sharing these things correctly. I mean, I can see them. I don't know about you guys. Probably your fault on your end. All right, we're going to close it out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so I've got you four in the drawing here. And this is going to be the order that we let you guys pick which one you want to add to your collection i'll go ahead and mail them out to you but we're going to go ahead we're going to shuffle the names around one two three four times so you're all mixed up on this fun colorful wheel with your names on it and the first one as we spin it to win it is gonna be mr ski searcher Ski Searcher, I have some half dollars here. I have a 1939, a 1946, a 1900 Barber, and a 1911 Barber. Now, we're giving Mr. Patrick our first pick, but in the chat, let me know the order of which you would like next. Again, 1939 Walker, 1946 Walker, a 1900 barber and a 1911 barber. So whichever one Mr. Patrick R. picks, I will give you the next in choice. Stay tuned guys, because again, I'm gonna give away all of these. So if you weren't Ski Searcher, don't worry. You've got a chance to win still. And as Ski Searcher gets ready for his pick, we're gonna go ahead and spin the second time around. The second winner is Mr. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Let me know in the chat the order that you would like. Again, 1939 Walker, 46 Walker, 1900 Barber, and a 1911 Barber. All right, third spin, here we go. Mr. David Kelly.
All right, don't worry guys, that means Ron Powers, you are last, but not least, I'm gonna go ahead, I will get another coin somewhere back here in my collection, and we will go ahead and I will get a coin out to you as well for joining the stream today. And again, I thank all of you guys for jumping in and chatting real quick, just to show you, here's what some of these look like. I have them in cases, so they are protected. We've got the 1939, we've got a 46, And of course, the Barbers. So leave that in the chat right now for me or if you guys follow me on any other social media or you can email me, uh, the email is in my YouTube. Let me know and I will write these orders down for you and we will reach out to you guys and get these shipped out. All right, David Kelly is looking at the 1900 to the 11 and then any walker after that sounds good it has been noted david thank you <coughs> scotty nichols just looking for the 1911 first one all right ski searcher are you still here if you're still here, go ahead, let me know your order in the chat so I can hopefully get those sent out to you guys. And if you guys could, just so I don't lose your contacts, if you're subscribed to me, great. I can reach out to you, leave a message on your channel, or if you have an email on there, cool, I will do that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, one, why not? Why, why are you even here? <laughs> Two, reach out to me and just message me on Instagram. Uh, that's fine. Again, just swing for the ring and I will get your contact information and get these things sent out to you. But in the meantime, again, for anyone that's going to jump in and check this out here uh, a little later, go to MetalDetectingLife.com. Click over on the right hand side where it says become a treasure box newsletter subscriber. And that's how you can get into some of these cool contests. Again, Mr. Uh, Patrick Ryan. He found the hidden fireworks that I hid on the website over the 4th of July weekend. He got himself first pick at the silver half dollar, but because he is a true pirate, we also are going to give him this awesome, awesome piece dollar. Scotty, sounds good. I will go ahead and make a note of any walker after that. But in the meantime, guys, I hope treasure is finding your treasure boxes and you are having a wonderful time going out there metal detecting bottle hunting magnet fishing whatever it is that you enjoy doing keep going out there and seeking treasure and as always remember to swing for the ring until next time we'll see you guys later